My name is Ian Cyrus. I am a practitioner of acupuncture and oriental medicine in the state of Pennsylvania. My office is located in Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to talk about what's known as the four gates. The four gates in acupuncture is probably, with, well actually it's two points and they're bilateral. These two, or if you want to look at it as four points, are probably two of the most, or four of the most used uh, points in acupuncture. So let's talk about them individually first. The first point I want to talk about is uh, in Chinese, it's Hegu, meaning Valley Union or where two mountains meet, a valley. This point is located between the first finger and the second finger in just about an inch into the web space. So <clears throat> to use it, you would literally pinch uh, into the web space and there's where the point is located. Now, as usual, this point, once you start to uh, manipulate it, you will find the most tender area in and around the point and, or where it's most reactive. Now this point is along what's known as the large intestine channel. Now this point is the fourth point on the channel and it sort of goes up like this, it goes across the neck and then it's one, it's the only channel that crosses the midline and it ends on the opposite side just uh, beside the, nos the nostril, okay? So what that means is that this point is great for treating sinus congestion. Um, if you feel it, it strengthens your immunity, it's used for chronic pain all over the body. It, it drains the body of heat so that if you, if you, um, if you're running a fever, for instance, um, manipulating this point will help to reduce the fever naturally, uh, rather than having to take Tylenol or something like that. Um, uh, this point is also, if you find the most tender area, can be used to relieve even low back pain. So, um, dental pain, especially if the pain is in the lower jaw. So, it, any problem of the head, and I mean any problem of the head and face, this point suffices. It's kind of known as a universal point because it covers so much ground. The next point I'd like to um, talk about is what's known as uh, Tai Chong. And Tai Chong meaning Great Surge or liver point number three, right? So this point is located in the web space, similarly to this one, between the first or big toe and the second toe about an inch into the uh, web space. So again, you will pinch that um, point with your thumb and massage that point where you find the most reactive area in and around the point. This point, as the name implies, Great Surge, is on the liver channel, okay? And the liver is known for, in Chinese medicine or Oriental medicine, it's responsible for the smooth flowing of qi or energy in the entire body or organism. So the term Great Surge is appropriate for this point because um, the liver chi and blood, so to speak, has a tendency towards stagnation when there are problems or issues in the body. And when blood stagnates, it turns to heat and that heat flares upwards. And it can cause things like insomnia, it can cause irritability, bout or fits of anger, you know, and 
you know, um, red irritated eyes, vertex headache. And the reason why it will cause a vertex headache is because the, the liver channel has a trajectory that goes to the vertex. So it can cause a vertex headache. So it's very important to remember that. Like if you're in bed at night and you, your head is going around like this, or uh, you can't sleep and you're irritable, massaging liver three or great surge or tai jong will help to descend the liver chi or this upward surge of energy so that you can calm, it has this calming effect. Now, now, when you combine both of those points together, which is large intestine four, or her goo, or where valley meets, or valley joins, and liver three, which is Tai Chung or Great Surge, when you combine those points, this, these two points have a tendency to restore what's known as homeostasis. That is resetting the physiology in the body. So if nothing else, in, in a given acupuncture treatment, um, uh, penetrating those points with an acupuncture filament will have a tremendous effect on a person's well-being. So again, these two points known as the four gates are two of the most widely used points in acupuncture. So those of us who are my patients, in the martial arts world with me, um, these, are, these points, right, are the points that if you do nothing else every day, these are the kinds of points you would want to use to sort of establish this thing known as a homeostasis, okay? So if you have any questions or, or, or commentary, I'm on Facebook, you can go to my Facebook page um, Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine Center LLC. I have a page and all to my website eastasianmed.com okay and uh, you can leave comments call and what have you okay thank you for watching